Good evening, guys. Today is Thursday, October 5th. It's about 5 o'clock Pacific time. I thought I'll just quickly go through the key five-step process for uh, one of the stocks that came up on my uh, radar. But just to give you a context for the day, overall, the market itself seemed flat. It it started at, uh, at a decent node, went all the way down, especially the NASDAQ. If you look at it on a, on a daily basis, this is the NASDAQ composite index, which is what I follow the most, because most of the stocks that I trade are NASDAQ stocks. So it's, well, it's gone up nearly about 2% down and then staged a dramatic rally all the way up. So this was a good, decent close. But for the day, we ended up being flat on the NASDAQ, 16 points negative, flat on the Dow, about 10 points negative, and five points negative on the S&P 500, uh, also flat. So mostly a flat day continuation more than anything else. If you look at it, um, and if I look at it from a monthly, weekly uh, chart basis, we're still not cleared out. Uh, we're trying our best to be able to rally back uh, we've got two just flat candles, as you can see here on the weekly. And if you go to the daily chart, you can see that there's a lot of flat candles there as well, mostly just dojis, not uh, not a good sign, but still it's an inside day, two days inside days in a row. We had a big red candle, an inside day green candle, and another inside day red candle. So my suspicion is it's going to just flip around for a little bit more. We're still way down below the uptrend. I don't know if the support is going to be at 12, 20, 12,923 or not, but looks like that's the first stop, at least if it breaks down. But if it breaks up, that'll be also a good sign, but I don't think that's going to happen. One of the stocks that came up on the radar for me um, was the stock called Road ROAD, Construction Partners. So let's go through a five-step process, see what we can see. We always start with the fundamentals first. Why is it that this company is is doing well. And it's it's actually on my radar, it came up twice. So this isn't a new time, or this isn't the first time that it came up. Construction Partners actually is an uh, infrastructure company. They make uh, road construction, highways, things of that nature. So if I look at the um, revenue from an annualized perspective first, so from an annual perspective, um, they've been growing at about, oh, wow. From 4%, they grew significantly, then down again in 2020, again, because of COVID, back again to 15% growth, which is not bad growth for a company doing a billion dollars in revenue. 40% uh, is a sudden jump in 2022. Let's see what happens from a quarterly basis. And if that growth is continuing on a quarterly basis, again, they seem to have jumped quite a bit in the early part. This is probably because of the infrastructure spend that the Biden administration passed through. So they've got quite a lot of money here. And then they're back to their 10% on an usual basis. So this is a big drop, but still, even with this drop, surprising they're doing well. Um, so they don't have a, their, the gross profit is very, very low. So they probably spend a lot of money in buying all that equipment. And then they've got even smaller, very, very small percentage in terms of their, um, in terms of the profit margin, just to give a little bit of context to you on an annualized basis, their profit margin is in the 1%. It used to be in the 2% and the 5%, it's actually been going down on an annualized basis. And if you look at it quarterly, it seemed to have a little bit of a jump compared to what it was negative, maybe a quarter before we had 1.6% negative margins. So they've gone a little bit better. Um, that's probably the reason why uh, margins are getting a little bit better. Balance sheet looks okay, uh, about $430 million in debt, a billion dollars plus in assets. Seems okay. And if you look at the valuation metrics, so they're growing what? About, used to be growing at 30%, growth is slowed, 64% uh, PE, so rich, very rich. And then price to sales, I guess, because they have low uh, gross margins, price to sales doesn't matter as much, but they have very rich price to earnings. Uh, and it's historically been high, and now it's getting to a little bit more of a manageable level, I would say. 52 is more manageable, but uh, 64 is a little bit high. Uh, still high. Okay, so let's go through the five-step process. Let's look at an all-time perspective first. So this is a monthly chart first. Seems like what it does is what stage? You're trying to find out at this point to find what stage is it in. Stage one typically tends to be consolidation. In this stage, it's called the stage one, the stage two, ramp up, stage three, distribution, and then stage four, downtrend. So that's what that looks like uh, overall. So right now, we've done a consolidation at this stage and looks like it's trying to go to stage two. Uh, at least on the high level. So let's draw a few levels that might make sense. This is obviously the all-time level, uh, which is at $44. And right now it's at 39. So yeah, this could be a good reach target, uh, $44 target, which is the all-time high that it hit November 2021. So a couple of years ago. Uh, and then uh, another one that could be a more likely 
it's going to be probably in this range. See if it's dropped out. Yeah, somewhere in this range, I would say, even in the 28 range, uh, maybe we can tighten up a little bit better, even get to this point, I would say, in the short term, 32 range. But realistically, to be safe, it's probably in this range, somewhere in the 28 range, that uh, we could have a good support. It, of course, this is on a monthly basis support. Uh, see where it's been going. Uh, it's a good range on a monthly basis. Okay, so if it is going there on a monthly basis, ah, oh, beautiful. It's actually formed a very nice bull flag, and that's one of the reasons why it's doing very, very well. And this would have been post. Uh, we got to find out why it just this nice green candle followed by a nice bull flag. I think this is the reason why, and it's going to continue to do well. Is my suspicion. It's just a good stock. It seems to be doing fairly well. Um, so that's one pattern I can see over here uh, on the weekly chart. And on the weekly chart, it's going through a bunch of resistances. See this. This whole zone over here was like a resistance zone, uh, somewhere in the 36 range. So it's gone through this entire resistance zone fairly well. So that could be an area of support. It you know it's touched it twice. So since then it's done a good job of getting out of that zone. Um, so it's heading up higher, and this could be a good sign for it overall. It's through this blue flag. It's actually pierced through this resistance zone and gone much higher. So next stop looks like. 44 might be it, but I don't see any red flags, if you will, on the on the weekly chart. Um, okay, so could be a pattern over here, just a nice little bottom. Uh, if, let's draw that just to give you a little bit of a better sense. Uh, it's all the way from here, all the way to about this point of time. Let's draw that uh, bottom pattern from here to here, it formed a nice bottom pattern, and then now it's on its way up. A uh, little bit of a touchback, so that's a good sign. Moved up all the way to 33, uh, touchback to the 28 zone, and then ramping up from there. So that's a good sign. Let's go to the daily chart to see what other patterns we can see. How would we trade this? This is actually very, very good. Another bull flag forming. So what's likely going to happen with this one is, as, as you know, it could go this way, uh, more likely, um, as it usually does. And it seems to be already on its way. That's a steep ramp up, but it'll most likely do something like this and then head higher to 44. Uh, so I would probably buy with a stop somewhere in the 36 range, 39. It's about 10% stops. I'll move the mob stop a little bit higher, maybe in the top range of this if I wanted to buy, but I would expect a small slight pullback over the next couple of days and then head it back. So I would like to buy it somewhere in the, it's rich stock. So I'm not gonna position size very, very high. It's 60, close to 60 PE. So this is a very rich stock. I'm gonna appropriately position myself if I wanted to go ahead and trade it. But good bull flag just after earnings, formed a very strong pattern, broke through a lot of resistance in this zone, formed another great green flag, would probably do another flag or a pennant somewhere over here, and then head back up to the 44 zone. So I would expect to buy somewhere in the 36, 38 range, uh, in this range if it ever comes down to that and then wait for it. So look at this, it's been consistently doing that. So on the top of this green candle is the 32 zone. So I would expect somewhere in the, it would probably come back and touch the 38, 44, 38 um, high. Let's see the high of that day. Let's find out what the high was. Uh, the high of that day um, was a 38, 39.60 and the low was, and the close was 38.48. So 38.48 is where I would look to be able to see if it comes back and touches that zone, 38.48. Expect to run up again to 44, hold it through. And looks like that might take you somewhere in the range of roughly about two to about maybe even three weeks to get somewhere around a range of about a $6 move. So nearly a 15 to 20% move up with a 4% stop down. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel, like and comment and uh, share this if you find it useful.